Hey there guys, Frankomatic here, bringing you into the wonderful world of what I assume is supposed to be edutainment with Space Shuttle Project on the Nintendo. Oddly enough for me, this is a game that has basically no redeeming factors. Also, make note of the uh, code here, because this is basically your password screen, but it is the worst password screen in the history of password screens. I'm going to write this down, actually, give me one second. 8125 Columbia. You'll see why in a second. But first, our character needs an appropriate name for a spacefaring kind of guy. I think that'll work out just fine, Mr. Roger. Now, we hit end. And, yes, you have no control over what this thing does, but you have to put in the same code again to get to the first level of the game. And if you fuck it up, you lose a life. Isn't that just great? And the last part was Columbia. Now, as you finish missions, you will get new codes set up to your name, and you have to put them in exactly the same way. Still losing lives if you fuck it up. This would be probably the most retarded password system I've ever heard of. Anyways, mission one. Release a satellite. That seems easy enough, right? Fairly standard. Well... yeah. First off is something that I'm pretty sure is not something that the actual command crew of the shuttle, of the shuttle does. Which is fuel up the shuttle and then hurt everybody aboard. It's actually really easy this first time, but in later levels it uh, gets less easy. As you have very narrow time limits later on. I'm going to try not to save state too much on this because it's really not a hard game, but... Apparently for this mission all you need is the pilot. I'm going to save state usually at the start of each segment, just in case. But... 13, 13. This... This is the lion's share of the game, and wow, look at it glitch out. Huh, didn't do that before. Most levels feature this stage and the Dior and the re-entry stage, just getting longer each time by adding more pointless shit. But these play kind of like, uh, well, kind of like Dragon's Lair, in that it's basically a series of quick time events to do everything. Oh, I almost fucked that up. But anyways... Oop. I need to pause this for one moment. Okay. Here we go. Once again, I totally almost fucked that up. Luckily, if you do fuck up something in this, it just puts you back to the same segment again. And makes a horrible buzzing noise. There are six missions in the game. I'm gonna film it one mission at a time. But despite the fact that there are six missions, one of them is basically repeated three times. Just made longer each time. And we are almost in... well, we are in space. We are almost in orbit. What we gotta do is the same thing once again. And that's how astronauts work, ladies and gentlemen. Also notice that the north and or south pole is totally missing. I guess global warming finally did its work. Okay, now, remember I said this seemed like a fairly, uh, generic store of mission? Note that our satellite appears to be at least 20 times bigger than any other satellite in the sky right now. And you might be thinking, oh, that's just the perspective. Well, you'd be wrong, because those can and will hit you. 
And the time that they can hit you also includes the fact that while it's opening, it doesn't move for some reason. Oh fuck, I fucked this up, didn't I? Damn it! You know what, I'm gonna just reload that, because I need all the lives I can get. You can't start getting extra lives until a little later. So yeah, the actual idea of this stage is to move it as far to the right as you can. Like this. Which just barely gives it enough time to open. And the space satellite, totally not compensating for anything, has been put into orbit. So now it's time to go back home. This is the other stage that you'll see a lot of in this game. Just with added pieces as you go. I gotta admit, I'm not sure if this is how space shuttles get ready for re-entry or not. Also, notice how fast the Earth appears to be rotating under us. I think there's some sort of problem. And now it is time for the part where we try not to blow up and re-entry. Also, it's time for seizures. This first mission is short, but I'm going to record this one mission per video. Because the later ones get really goddamn long, so I'm probably going to have to split them up. I had actually never heard of this game until I just found it sitting in my directory of games. And I decided to try it out and saw that it was, well, something that I think needs to be shown to the world as an example of how not to make an edutainment title. Because I've played some decent edutainment style games and this is not one of them. This is not even close. But we are almost there. And there are some jets, just chilling, I guess. Mission complete. And we get the headline in the most famous paper in all of the U.S., the Nintendo Times. And with that, we also get our new password, 8827 Columbia. So with that, I will see you guys next time on Mission 2. Later.